As someone with oily and acne prone skin, I have struggled through the battles of trying to have clear and healthy skin. This is how my face is looking like today, and in this video, I show you my completely honest, unsponsored, and unbiased Korean skincare recommendations for anyone who is searching for essential products that won't break your bank. Stay tuned until the end of the video to see the secret product that I make myself that has helped me level up my skincare in a very inexpensive but effective way. Annyeong, my beautiful beanies. Titanus sale. So in my last video, we talked about self-love, especially when you're going through something difficult like stubborn acne. So in this video, I thought I'd take it a step further by sharing with you how to achieve that nice, radiant, healthy, glowing skin while also being on a budget. As your unni, aka older sister, let me share with you some of my absolute favorite Korean skincare products that I personally use on a daily basis. And every single product that I'm going to share with you today is going to be less than $20. That's right less than $20. Also, I'll be sharing a secret ingredient that I use for my skincare routine that will literally cost you pennies because you can just make it yourself at home. All right, but before we get started, if we haven't met already, hi, I'm Jinri, I'm Korean American, and I like to make content all things K-pop, lifestyle, and the messiness of being in my 20s. Feel free to join this cozy chaos if any of that sounds interesting to you. Without further ado, let's get started. We are not going through a 10-step Korean skincare routine today. No, today's video is all about the bare essentials of what you need in a skincare routine. And so these are the products that I'm gonna say you really, really need when it comes to a skincare routine to make your skin go from crusty, dusty, musty to being clean, radiant, and refreshed. So the essentials come down to four main products. You can even cut it down to three if you do not wear makeup, okay? But starting with number one, this is if you do wear makeup, and that is a makeup cleanser, okay? So it's very, very important that you have no residual makeup on your face. Having residual makeup is probably the worst thing that you can do because it can cause infections, it can cause you to break out, and it's just nasty stuff that you do not want to have. So the makeup remover that I will recommend today is this one. This is the Beauty of Joseon Radiance Cleansing Balm. I personally, as somebody who has an oily skin type, love using cleansing balms because I feel like it does a really great job of gently removing all of the makeup off of my face. So you'll see here, it comes with a little makeup spatula that you can scoop the balm with and then rub it in your hands and remove all of that makeup on your face. I like to buy all of my Korean skincare makeup on a website called Jolse. It's really great. They give you a bunch of samples and free shipping for a lot of things. So I would definitely recommend purchasing it from there. You can get this for $18 on Jolse. And then on Amazon, I believe it sells for 19. Now there's many different types of makeup removers, obviously. There's also things like cleansing oils. So this one is also by Beauty of Chosun. It is a ginseng cleansing oil. However, as an oily skin type, I noticed that oily makeup removers do not work well for my skin. So what I recommend doing is really analyzing your skin type before you go ahead and purchase a bunch of products. That will really help you to cancel out the amount of experimentation that happens when you're discovering new products. I'll also link all the products that I mentioned in this video today in the description box below so you can go ahead and check them out yourself if you're interested. Okay, so after you're done removing all your makeup, the next essential skincare product that I will recommend you is a facial cleanser. So yes, two out of the four products in your essential Korean skincare routine are going to be cleansers because it is just that important to make sure that your base is clean and flawless. You don't want to just continuously paint over a canvas that has already been painted on, right? You want to make sure that you take off everything that's on there before you do your beautiful Picasso art on your face, okay? So the cleanser that I recommend today is this one called Matcha Hydrating Foam Cleanser by B-Lab. I recently raved about this in one of my vlogs because it is just that good. This one is just so gentle and hydrating even though it is a facial cleanser. There are so many cleansers out there that do a great job of removing stuff off your face but it can also remove a lot of that good stuff that you want to keep, right? Like the moisture and um, some of the oils on your face. You don't want everything to be stripped away or else your face is just going to be too dry. So this one is very very nice. This one's by B-Lab again and you can get this on sale for less than $10 on Jolse. Like I think I bought this 
for maybe $15 at one point and then the next day I saw it was like half that price and so definitely keep your eye out if you see this on sale in Jose, I would highly highly recommend to get it now for all my US beanies out there don't sleep on Trader Joe's when it comes to skincare, okay? I'm telling you this because this particular cleanser here that I got at Trader Joe's for I believe less than $6 is something that has carried me through my college years, okay? So this is the Trader Joe's Spa Face Wash with Tea Tree Oil. It is so, so good for people of oily skin types or if you're dealing with acne because it does have that tea tree ingredient in it. And so I would say it is a little bit more drying, but this does such a great job at making your face feel very, very clean afterward. It also has that foaming kind of experience after you lather it in your hands. So if you need something gentle and that's gonna keep your hydration, definitely check out the B Lab Cleanser. If you need something that's gonna help more with your acne, or if you have a more oily skin type, check out the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Oil Face Wash. Okay, so after we're done cleansing our face so that we have a nice, fresh palette to work with. We are then going to move on to our third product, which is moisturizer. We are not going to touch on any serums or essences today because those are really nice add-ons to have into your skincare routine. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the bare essentials, it really comes down to having a nice moisturizer. So I like to use two different kinds, one for the daytime and one for the nighttime. But obviously you don't need to do that yourself. For the daily one, I like to use this Green Tea Fresh Emulsion by Isn't Tree. This one is so lightweight and it feels so hydrating at the same time. It looks like this and it rubs into the skin very very gently i like to use this one during the day because it is super lightweight and what's really really good about it is that you know how some moisturizers or some skincare products when you layer onto your face and then you try to apply makeup it can start to crease the makeup and just not look very nice into the skin however this one whenever i put this on it does not give me any sort of issue when it comes to creasing the makeup or causing makeup to look funny so Definitely recommend this one for the daytime, of course, even for the nighttime too. But the one that I like to use at night in particular is the Sun By Me Aha Baha Paha 30 Days Miracle Cream Moisturizer. I have been using all of the Sun By Me Miracle products. However, this moisturizer here is just something that I love to use, especially during the night, because it is a slightly thicker moisturizer in comparison to the Isn't Tree one that I just showed you. And so because this one is a little bit on the heavier side, it definitely does give me a lot more hydration as well. Sometimes it's hard to know when something is making a difference, but I tell you, okay, when I started using these Sun By Me products, the first morning I woke up and I looked at myself in the mirror after using it the night before, I was literally so shook because my face, normally when I wake up, it is red and blotchy and just, you know, kind of discolored. But when I saw my face in the mirror, I was like, why is it so clear? Like it looked so good. I, I kid you not, it looked so good. So again, definitely recommend all of the Sun By Me Miracle products. I just love them. I love them so much. Also in terms of prices, the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Emulsion, you can find this on Jolse for $16. And then this Sun By Me Miracle Cream, you can actually find this on Amazon for $16. And I'm trying to give you the cheapest prices, so that's why I'm recommending two different websites for these. Okay, and last but not least, to your essential Korean skincare routine is, can you guess it? That's right, sunscreen. I personally grew up not using much sunscreen and that's probably because since I live in the Pacific Northwest and it's more cloudy, I just didn't end up feeling like I needed to use it. However, don't listen to that, okay? If you are younger than me, please, for the love of God, just use sunscreen on a daily basis because it will help you, okay? It's gonna help you in the long run, I promise you. So the one that I will recommend absolutely, and I'm almost done with this one too, is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun rice plus probiotic sunscreen i remember getting this way before it got super super hot on tiktok but let me just say out of all the sunscreens i've tried this is my absolute favorite one because it doesn't give you a white cast after applying it doesn't feel greasy feels substantial so that it really blocks the uv rays and it also doesn't cause any creasing with your makeup again that is something that is so important and i feel like it's not as much talked about when it comes to skincare products and 
and, and whatnot. So you can get this on Jose for $14. And because this is a very popular product, Jose does tend to do a lot of sales and deals with this. So definitely keep your eye out when you're browsing on their website. Okay, so you thought we were finished, but did you forget about the one secret ingredient that I was telling you about? I hope not because this is the one that I'll be sharing with you today that is going to cost you literally pennies. So this is what I'm talking about today rice water so when you're cooking rice instead of just rinsing and throwing all of that water down the drain like you might usually do do like one to two rinses first with your rice and then after the third rinse just save it all right keep it in the refrigerator and then before you apply your moisturizer go ahead and just splash your water with this like all i do literally is i take this pour it into my hand and just kind of wash my face with it and then instead of grabbing a towel to dry it off i will just let it air dry so that it will all soak into my skin just fan myself with with my hand just let it soak into my skin and then have all of those good nutrients go in okay now this is not a new idea by any means a lot of people have done this before but this stuff is so underlooked and it's so underrated so really if you don't have the budget to like purchase a toner and and you really really want to have something extra for your skincare routine then definitely go ahead and just try making this yourself I know that there are multiple ways people go ahead and do this uh, they do the method that I just shared with you uh, some people also boil the water just in case if there's any impurities that they want to take out some people also freeze these into ice cubes so that they can just rub it all over their face there's so many ways to do this but I have to say after using this for about a month consistently on my face every night it really really does make a difference in the morning when I wake up like I look at my in the mirror and my redness is just non-existent it looks so much better I actually took a picture of myself in the morning this past week to show you guys how my face looked after waking up in the morning all I did was take a shower and like that's how my face looked so definitely feel free to check out this rice water hack here and let me know if you actually end up trying it yourself and how it's been for you so there we go that is the essential Korean skincare routine that I'll be sharing with you today drop a comment below if you end up using any of these products yourself or if you have any other products that you would suggest to other people. Let's not be gatekeepers here, okay? We want knowledge shares so that we can all be our best glowy version of ourselves, okay? In the meantime, stay strong, and I'll see you in my next one. Fighting!